Wow, this is pretty cool. I, I got an app that actually lets me see Ravens text messages to people. Uh, they text Hollywood. They say, oh, you happy now? Okay. They even text me. Uh, they said, please quit making all them videos, man. Shut up. And, oh, okay. I see that text of Sammy Watkins. This is the one that I wanted to see. It says, oh, yeah. Hey, big head. Anyway, YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Ian Graven here with another video. And in this video, Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins. The Ravens got... Mr. Sammy Watkins, he's from Florida too, so he'll fit right in. And like I told y'all, man, from the jump, Sammy Watkins, he wasn't my first or second or third choice. But, you know, me saying that, I don't feel so bad. Why? Because he wasn't the Ravens' first or second or third choice. Because you know the Ravens, they tried for Juju. He said, no, I'm good. They checked in on uh, Kenny Galladay, but <laughs> his price tag said, no, I'm good. Mm, ain't getting no deal from the Ravens because you're too cheap. Uh, and then they tried for T.Y. Hilton. They pushed. And oh, let me let me look at that text message too. Yep. Oh, there it goes. See, they text T.Y. Hilton, but they called him Ty. And he said, no, it's T.Y. And they're like, hey, for all this money we're offering you, we're going to call you Ty. And that's when the deal didn't go through. See, I don't care what story he told you on the Pat McAfee show. That's what really happened. But yeah, T.Y. said he was five seconds away from being a Baltimore Raven. And we know that wasn't literal, but that was just him explaining that he was very close to signing with the Ravens. Ooh, Ravens, y'all are sneaky. Y'all are sneaky. Ooh, boy, y'all over there trying to scoop up people's girls. Y'all are. It, it, it's like the Ravens are that, that popular kid at the high school. He's, he's nice, but he's popular. So he got this rep for being planted by the rules and being nice to everybody. Hey, hey, how's it going there? Oh, I'm good. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. But it's sneaky because they go behind people's back and try to take what's theirs. They did that to the Steelers with Juju Smith-Schuster. They're like, Juju, we'll pay you more than Pitt. But Juju said, no, I'm loyal. And then they to the Colts, to the Colts. Because there's all this talk about them being interested in Sammy Watkins. They want to sign Sammy Watkins. But that was a little smoke screen because they were really trying to get T.Y. And they pushed for T.Y. And they tried to give him that three-year deal worth up to 16 mil, which that's been all the talk over the past couple of days because they supposedly offered him more than what he got with the Colts. And technically, overall, it was more, but the Colts deal was far better because it's one year, 10 mil. But the Ravens tried to go behind the Colts back, too. And take theirs. Boy, y'all <laughs> are sneaky with it, man. But then they hit Sammy Watkins with that. Oh, hey, big head. Sammy Watkins was their rebound. He was their rebound. But Sammy Watkins, I guess the market probably wasn't so hot. I mean, it started getting hot once a little video came out. But anyway, the market wasn't so hot. And he came back where everything started at. So now Sammy Watkins is a Baltimore Raven. Now, Barstool Banks, the way that he put it about Sammy Watkins after the deal became official, he summed it up perfectly. He said, yes, we know the downside, but we also know the upside. So let's see what happens. And that's true. Let's see what happens now. Uh, because with Sammy Watkins, the biggest knock on him uh, from everybody, from Chiefs fans, from Ravens fans, from NFL fans, uh, and, and just what's known about his career. We talked about it on here, too. The last time he played a full 16, I mean, and now it's going to be 17, so, ooh, man, that brings the risk for that up even more. But the last time he played a full season was back in 2014, his rookie year, seven years ago. He hasn't played a full season since then. So hopefully with Sammy Watkins, this can be the year. This can be the year where he really gets it going again. Now, of course, we got to be real. Like, what's the expectations for that? Based off of history, it's not likely going to happen. But what I'm hoping that Sammy Watkins' motto is this year, what I'm hoping that his whole thought process is this year, is prove him wrong. Prove him wrong. And, and then even when he says prove him wrong, I want him to switch the letters around in M. To, instead of E-M, to M-E. Prove me wrong. Prove us wrong. All the people who weren't so high on Sammy Watkins, I want him to prove us all wrong with his health and his wealth. Now, the health, that means him staying healthy, of course. Now, his wealth, I'm not talking about money. 
He ain't signed no crazy big time deal. Ravens, they got to get, and they they got to get something that could be significant. But you know the Ravens, they got to give very little, very little. So the Ravens continue with being cheap. They continue. But again, that is no surprise. That's no surprise. That's why they never even offer Kenny Galladay a deal. They say, oh, what? Double digits for a wide receiver? That? Get it out of here. Gross. We don't want that. But anyway. <laughs> we know the Ravens are cheap. We all know. We all know. It's no secret. It's, no, we all know that. They know that. Ravens are incredibly cheap. On offense. Now this move. Is Sammy Watkins the guy? Does Sammy Watkins really push the needle? Does Sammy Watkins really move the chains now with the Baltimore Ravens wide receiver group? No, I don't think so. But again, prove him wrong. Prove him wrong. Now, I still don't think this should be the end-all, be-all for the same reasons that I said. The injury history. The injury history. Even though we, we all want Sammy Watkins to stay healthy, we all hope Sammy Watkins stays healthy. We hope he can, but again, recent history shows otherwise. It shows otherwise. So I do not feel like the Ravens, this should be it. And I'm still, again, call me greedy if you want to, I don't care. But I think a lot of y'all are in the same boat too. Ravens should still make that trade. Make that trade. Because this can't be it. Because you don't want to be like, all right, guys, Sammy Watt. And, and, and there's a lot of Ravens fans saying this, too. A lot of Ravens fans were going to, before this deal was official, a lot of Ravens fans were like, oh, watch when the Ravens sign Sammy Watt. Because they're going to be like, see, there you go, guys. Y'all can stop talking about us now. Facebook, quit it. Twitter, quit it. Instagram, quit it. YouTube, quit it. Ravens fans, quit it. We're tired of you guys. Shut it up. Because you, you know they've been checking. You know they've been checking that social media. They've been saying every time they post anything, they post Happy Maryland Day, and their Ravens fans get a receiver. Every, every time they could, they could, they could, te they could put out a, a a social media post. Oh well, it's this person's anniversary. Ravens fans get a receiver every time. Ravens could put, oh, it's National Dog Day. Ravens fans, get a golden receiver or golden retriever. It's a funny joke. You get it, but get a receiver. That's how it's, that's how it was. And the Sammy Watkins move, it's gonna it's gonna calm people down a little bit, but not too much. Not too much. Because again, you cannot put all your eggs in the Sammy Watkins basket. You can't. You can't. And Sammy Watkins, shout out to my guy Mike B. My guy Mike B put me on to something that I thought about a little bit, but I was like, ah, I don't know. I saw Sammy Watkins. And I, I, I saw what he looked like. And I was like, maybe he is. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. And then I saw the grill. And I was like, oh, maybe Sammy Watkins. But then I was like, uh, I don't know. Maybe not. And then before, before he cut it off, I saw the dress. And I was like, ah, maybe Sammy Watkins. Is, uh, maybe not. But my boy might be, he was like, hey, Sammy Watkins is from Florida. And I was like, oh, that confirmed it. He confirmed it. So he will fit right in with the Florida Ravens. Baltimore, that's, that's just where they play their home games at. Their real home games are right down here at Dolphin Stadium. That's their real home games. Because everybody is from down. Everybody on the Ravens is from right down here. Everybody. So, shout out to the Florida Ravens for adding another one. Because you got, again, Lamar Jackson, Pompano, Hollywood, Hollywood, Deion Kane, I think he's from Tampa. Uh, Sammy Watkins from Fort Myers, I believe. Benjamin Victor, he's from Pompano. So, it's like you, you got so much people from Florida on there. I mean, hey, they all from down here. That's, that's just the way of life when it comes to the Ravens. And I'm not mad at it, not one bit. But with Sammy Watkins, again, uh, we, we know the, the, the downside, of course, is the injuries. But the plus side is, is, is pretty good. And it's, it's one thing because with a lot of uh, Ravens fans, um, even analysts and whatnot, the biggest thing with Sammy Watkins, the biggest thing that people complain, nobody, I don't hear anybody say, oh, he can't play. 
I don't hear nobody. Nobody says, oh, man, Sammy Watkins sucks. Nobody says, oh, man, Sammy Watkins is terrible. Nobody says any of that stuff. The only thing that people say is his injury history. And it is a scary injury history, but that's been really the only complaint that I've seen. Nobody says he's old because he's 27, getting ready to be 28. Nobody says he's slow. Nobody says his hands are iffy. Nobody says any of that stuff. I have seen some people say he's not the best route runner. <laughs> but, I mean, that's, yeah. But we'll see. Again, motto, his theme, this entire season needs to be prove him wrong. Prove him wrong. Now, Ravens, y'all not off the hook. Y'all certainly aren't off the hook. Not, not in my eyes. We appreciate this move, and we, we're going to root for Sammy Watkins like crazy because he is a Baltimore Raven. And I think one of the most non-smart things that some fans do is if they don't agree with a decision that their team makes. Then, like, with, when it comes to signing a player, bringing a player on or whatnot, or drafting a player, anything like that. Some fans will root for that player to fail just so they can be like, see, I told you so. I knew that guy was going to be bad. I knew it wasn't going to work out. I knew it was going to be terrible. And I think, I don't, I just, and I know I, you can't tell anybody how to be a fan. But I just don't think that's, like, wise. Why would you root for your own team to fail just so you can be right. Sort of like a lot of people do with Lamar Jackson, you know? Yeah. Sort of the same thing. And that's unfortunate. But with Sammy Watkins, again, we, we hoping that he does very good uh, with the Baltimore Ravens. Hollywood's happy. You saw the tweet that Hollywood put out. And you know with Hollywood, he don't never, he don't just tweet stuff to tweet it. His tweets are very important to him. He be on Twitter, but he don't be tweeting stuff like that. So with Hollywood, he tweeted out the smiley face. So, hey, <laughs> he's happy. Um, but so that, that's, that's a good thing, man. This will help him out. This will help the other receivers out, too. This could just help out that entire room. And a plus, again, we know he played for Greg Roman before. Uh, I was a thousand yard receiver with Greg Roman. Uh, and, and the familiarity with the system, that should help a lot. That is a, a very, very good thing. When somebody can come in, they know the system already. And even if he doesn't know it, he'll have a full regular offseason. To get it, to, to bring it back to his mind. So that'll be pretty cool, man. So we we hoping that this thing works out, man. And again, it's a cheap... <laughs> you ever heard that word before when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens on offense? But it's a cheap one-year deal. So it's very low risk involved. And the incentives, I'm sure some crazy incentives that probably won't even be hit. Because you know how these NFL teams structure these deals to where they'll say, okay, it's a deal worth up to this much. But then you find out how to get to that much, and there's something like crazy out of this world. Hey, if, if you want to get this extra one meal on your contract, the incentives are you got to make 10 Pro Bowls in one year. You got to be an all-pro player. We got to win the Super Bowl by at least 50 points, and we got to blow out every playoff team by at least 22 points. They always got these crazy incentives that are, like, unreachable. Just to say that the deal is worth up to that much. But anyway. I love y'all team. Keep it clean, man. I hope y'all had a great week. This has been a very busy week, a very fun week, a very just crazy week with the Baltimore Ravens because it's been moving so fast and so slow all at the same time, man. But I hope that, again, hope y'all are doing good. And like I said in the last video, in the comment section, if any of y'all are going through anything, seriously, because this is way deeper than football. If any of y'all are ever going through anything, don't be afraid to reach out to somebody. Hit somebody up and, and, and let them know, man. Because the world right now is a very crazy place. It's a lot going on. It's a lot of negativity on there. That's what I always tell people. It's, it's, it's enough negativity going on in the world for people to hop online and be just, oh, I'm so angry. It's, that, there's no point in that. There's no sense in that. That makes zero sense. Why add to something like that? It's not helping anybody, especially yourself. So y'all be good to each other. Be good to other people, man. I love y'all. Seriously, I appreciate y'all. And we out, man. Shout out to Sammy Watkins, man.